love Paul. <laughs> Carl just doesn't like me. That, no. is, <laughs> that is not factual. We are here at the ballpark. Anthony's got a game tonight. Y'all, it is so cold. I have a winter coat on. A winter coat. It is freaking freezing and it sucks. But um, yeah. today is Friday, June 16th. And yeah, it's cold. My daughter will be here along with her boyfriend, Michael. So, mm. hey y'all, watch this. My daughter made it to the game finally. I was here a couple of games. Yeah, I know, but she was late today. That's all that matters. And this is this is her boyfriend, Michael. <laughs> He's a goofball. He'll fit right in. <laughs> Good duck, son. <laughs> Anthony is done with his game, and we are stopping, and we're going to get pizza, and then go home and do game night, or watch a movie, or whatever, so that's that. It is freaking freezing outside for June. Like, bro, I am hooded up. In a winter hoodie in on June 15th. This is crazy. This is freaking crazy. I'm freezing. So are you cold, Anthony? You're not the only one. Like holy shnikey. You saw me I was wearing a coat during the game. Nuts. Yeah, the kids were all freezing. Ugh. Standing in the outfield. So I might even I'm really, really tempted to turn the heat on at home. The heat on in my house on June 15th. Yeah. So Anyway, we're going to get the pizza and then we're going home. Be my mind if this is love. So baby, come over tonight. Yeah, baby, come over. Sweet so me now. Yeah, baby, come over tonight. So baby, come over. Y'all, we came home, and this damn dog ripped up the garbage. Like, there was garbage everywhere. So we had to clean all that up. And I'm talking, like, the entire garbage can was everywhere. I was so mad. Oh, I was so mad. So we are um, down in the basement now. We're going to eat, finally. And <laughs> we're going to watch a movie. I don't know if we'll get around to a game tonight or not. But we is chilling, ladies and gentlemen. This pizza's banging! Hello everybody, it is Saturday, the, what is it, the, the 17th, and we're up here at, um, Anthony just had his baseball pictures taken for the season, his, his team picture, and I just showed you a little bit of footage inside there of that. And we're getting ready to go home, and he's running a lemonade stand today again. I have to list some things on Mercari. Um, nothing too exciting going on today. Tomorrow's Father's Day. Anthony's going with his dad tomorrow. I don't know what I'm going to do yet tomorrow. So my father passed away when I was 11, so that year's, that day is always kind of little for me. But I'll figure out something to do, so... Yeah, but uh, we're on our way home, and I will show you guys the lemonade stand, too, here in a minute. So, yeah. The lemonade stand is doing well. I think the, they have made, I think, like 30 bucks already, and they've only been out here for maybe a half hour. 
I'm like, well, damn, I should, I should start lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> lemonade stand is a side hustle, right? <laughs> yeah, so the stand is doing well. Uh, here, I'll show you how they jump around. Well, those ones didn't stop, but for every two or three that pass, one stops. And they've been giving them... And uh, the ones that do stop usually give them like five or ten dollars. It's crazy. It's crazy. So, yeah. So I'm gonna try to show you the ones that stop so you guys get to see. Oh, that was nice. Say thank you. Something I'm noticing with these people that do stop, the older people, like the older folks who have these lemonade stands, are not the ones stopping. It's the young ones, the ones that are like in their early 20s or even late teens that are stopping and supporting these kids. So I think it's kind of, it definitely says, it, that kind of is telling, isn't it? But the young kids, the young kids are the ones who's giving them 10, 20 bucks. It's crazy, crazy. The dog is in all her glory. <laughs> Love me. <laughs> oh. It's Grandma and Grandpa! My daughter made it over. This is the guys. I think this is like the first time you guys have seen my daughter on uh, hey, on the vlog. Yeah, can like, you, tell? Like, you can't. I know you can't tell at all. It's my daughter, right? Not much. Similar. Not much. We don't look anything alike at all. No. <laughs> she pulled up right when the cops did. So that was so freaking yeah. cool. They stopped and hung out with the kids for a minute yeah, and. Yeah. Lemonade. They actually bought lemonade. I was shocked. So yeah, that was pretty cool, and the kids lemonade. loved it. Yeah, I was hoping they waved me down. I was, I was like driving down your street and everything. I had my windows cracked because I was hoping to hear them scream and shout and jumping up and down. And the cop beat you. And the cop beat me here. Lemonade stand is done. We are chilling right now. Hey neighbor. Hey neighbor. <laughs> Yeah, Paul, you're gonna be in my vlogs this next week. <laughs> you better tell your daughter to look, to watch. Look, there's your dad. Hey! <laughs> Daddy loves you. We love Paul. <laughs> Paul just doesn't like me. That, no. <laughs> that is not factual. Uh, Anthony and I are the last ones left standing. <laughs> We're out here on my back patio, just chilling, hanging out. There's little man. And we have a fire going over here. And we're watching, we're watching a movie. So yeah, this is how we're ending our Friday night, y'all. And uh, I'll catch up with y'all tomorrow.
happy Sunday. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. It is Sunday. I am, um, the girl is busy. I have been busy, busy, busy today. Um, Anthony went with his dad, so I have been cleaning the house top to bottom, just clean, clean, clean. And I'm also going to be posting some stuff on Mercari today. I was going through my collection and my collection is just massive, y'all. So I have got to declutter some and my, my stockpile, like my backups, I decided I'm going to go ahead and put some of them on Mercari. I'm going to show you really quick what they are. So yeah, those are the, that's the stuff I'm going to put on Mercari today. And then y'all, um, wait, hold on. I'll show you that in a second. I also got my HelloFresh delivery for the week. So I'm going to show you what I got. Okay. This is what the box looks like when it comes. Um, I really don't know what the heck this is. I guess maybe for some type of whatever. So this week's recipes are a spicy pork don, Dan Dan noodle ramen. That looks freaking amazing. And then I also got sweet Thai chili burgers. These look freaking really good, too. So this is just like another freaking advertisement thing. They did start packaging these new. So here is that meal. And then I have, here's the other meal. Oh, and they sent me a free sample of that sun gold kiwi. Okay, rock on. And then in here is the proteins, the ground beef and the ground pork for this week's recipes. And then in here is basically just a freezer. It's literally just a frozen block of ice. So yeah, so that'll be going in the garbage. Okay, and you know what else I did? I went ahead and I bit the bullet and I got a new vlogging camera, y'all. I did go ahead and get the Sony ZV-1F. This is my new vlogging camera. I'm super excited to uh, sit here today and try to just figure out how to use this. The vlogs will be better, y'all. So <laughs> that's the goal. I want to do. I want to do better for y'all. I want you guys to get better quality pictures and better quality video and better quality vlogs for y'all. So. I bit the bullet and took one for the team, okay? So, yeah, that's what we're doing now. I'm going to list that stuff. I'm going to play around with this camera and see what I can do on it. And next time you guys see me, we'll probably be with the new vlogging camera. And we'll see how the video quality is. So, stay tuned. So, I'm chilling in the house. And Anthony comes and says, oh, brother and sister here. So, I have both my kids here at the moment. There's Destiny. You met her the other day. And there's Christian. How you doing? <laughs> they were out for Father's Day with their dad. They were bike riding. And I'm um, actually going to insert some clips right here that Destiny took of them riding their bikes together today. So check these out. So it is 10 o'clock on Sunday night and I was getting ready to lay down and go to bed and my daughter calls me and she's locked out of her apartment and not only is she locked out of her apartment she called emergency maintenance and emergency maintenance is not answering the phone so she is stuck so I'm going to get her right now and she's gonna crash tonight at my house and she's all upset because she might have to call off work tomorrow but a locksmith she called a locksmith to see if they can come and let her in or get in her apartment and they wanted two hundred dollars so <laughs> I'm currently on my way to go get her 
we are going to get her and hopefully maybe she can get a hold of him when he gets out of work to pick her up. I don't know, but I have to work in the office tomorrow. Ironically, the only Monday, one of the few Mondays actually I'm going to go into the office, but yeah. So <laughs> being a mother, you know, the job never ends. It never ends. I'm back home. Oh my God. Look at this y'all is an undergrounder. <sighs> I'm back home. And I made it like, I don't know, a few minutes. I was literally a few minutes into my drive to her and she called me and I guess the old owners who own that place, um, I guess he happened to check the emergency line and she left him a message and I guess they, he was in Akron though and he was coming from Akron, Ohio, which is like literally 45 minutes away. So she's like, don't worry about it, mom. I don't want you to hang, you know, you have to work in the morning, you know, blah, blah, blah. And he, they're coming. So I feel horrible, but I was like, are you sure? I'll come get you. No, it's okay, mom. Here's a little man. His hair looks crazy. He just took a shower. So yeah, that's uh, my Sunday night. <laughs> yeah, most of this afternoon we were just chilling, hanging out and, um, and uh, the kid, Anthony and his friends got in the pool for a little bit. And then I have work to do inside. And yeah. Yeah. So that's the end of Sunday, Father's Day. And tomorrow is Monday. And there's a lot of good stuff going on this week. Really, really busy week. So you guys will have a lot of good content this week. So, but anyway, I hope everybody had a wonderful Father's Day. And uh, you celebrated with your loved ones. And yeah, have a good night. I am currently leaving work right now. It is 5 p.m. and I'm out this bitch. Let me holler at y'all when I get to the car. <laughs> All right, y'all, I am finally in the car. Um, you guys, I just saw the FedEx man freaking run to the building. He was running to the building like his life depended on it. Bro, oh boy, it's late. <laughs> oh boy, it's late. There he goes. Yeah, he must be late. He was late for a pickup. <laughs> it is Monday. I just left work. Um, I had to work today because I'm doing stuff on Wednesday. So I'm working today, tomorrow, and Thursday this week instead of Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Which, thank God my mom texted me last night because I totally forgot about it. And she's like, don't forget, you know, I'm taking Anthony to the zoo tomorrow. And I'm like, oh, shit, that's right. I'm, I'm going into, the, into work tomorrow. So, thank God she did. God, I always feel like I have something on my teeth. Like, I always, I'm like, I'm always worried I have lipstick on my teeth. See? But anyway... So yeah, so look what I was saying. Okay, this week is going to be super freaking busy, yo. Anthony has baseball practice tonight. Tomorrow he has a game. And I work tomorrow. Wednesday, I have a lot of stuff going on during the day. But then Wednesday night, me and my girlfriends and y'all are coming. We're going to a concert at Blossom. It's an outdoor concert venue in Cuyahoga Falls, Ohio. And listen to who we're seeing, y'all. In Vogue, TLC... Sean Kingston and Shaggy, yo. Oh my God. I cannot wait. This concert's going to be litty. Um, there's four of us girls going. We were all teenagers in the 90s. So to us, we're like, yo. And then, <laughs> and then Thursday, my work is having an outing. We're going downtown to see the Cleveland Indians. Well, now they're called the Cleveland Guardians play baseball. So we're going to do that on Thursday. And then Anthony has a game Thursday night, and he's going to his grandparents, his other grandparents' house to spend the night. They will take all, like, the boy grandkids and keep them overnight one night, you know, like, periodically. And then they do it with all the girls, because there's way too many grandkids for them to do all of them at once. So, they're going to have the boys sleep over that night when Anthony's done with his game, and then he's going there and then I will pick him up on Friday and then in next week's vlog y'all for that starts on Friday because I try to do Friday to Thursday next week's vlog my oldest boy is turning 21 Christian oh my little man 
Um, so we're going to be doing some really cool stuff for his birthday and you guys are coming along for that too. So I'm on my way to get Anthony now and I'll, I'll check back in when he's in the car and we'll see how the zoo is. I'm at my mama's house, y'all. At my mama's house. Picking up Anthony. She usually comes out on the porches and uh, the porch here and hollers at me <laughs> before I roll out. I don't see either of them though. So I'm waiting. I'll be waiting. I'll be waiting. Y'all, my diverticulitis is like no symptoms. I have not had any symptoms, no pain, no nothing. That apple cider vinegar did the ish. It was amazing. I'm still taking it every day. And yeah, oh, here comes our mama. How was your guys' day at the zoo? How was well, your day at the we, zoo? Uh, home about one yeah. we went on the zip line. You were on a zip line? Mm -hmm. What? I didn't know the zoo had a zip line. Uh, we went to a 40 movie. You saw a movie at the zoo? Mm -hmm. And you know they have movies at the zoo. Don't stop. We against the clock. Go. Don't stop. We against the clock. Head hell high to the north. Hey y'all. I am at the baseball field right now with Anthony. Just um chilling on the bleachers while he practices. So I'm just kinda hanging out and I've been playing around and testing this new vlog camera as well as the new handheld remote. I gotta show you guys that when uh, when I have a chance here. I'm gonna try to film it with my phone so you guys can see it because it's it's actually pretty cool. So it does look like the, the the actual quality of it is better. Let me know what you guys think. Like is the is the quality of the footage now better than the other camera? Because I think so. I think it's a lot better. So but yeah. Yeah um, tonight, actually, when I get home, I want to do a nighttime skincare routine with you guys so you guys can see what it is exactly I do every night because I've had a lot of people ask me. So I will, uh, I'll probably touch base with you guys later then when I'm doing my nighttime routine. I'll do it with this camera inside and we'll see how it does. So talk to you later. So I'm back home, y'all. We're back home now from Anthony's practice. I'm in my, my beauty room at the moment. And I'm just going to go over like a quick nighttime routine, what I do every night to get ready for bed and what I do with my skin. So first and foremost, I've got to get this makeup off. And I'll tell you something, after I do a makeup wipe, I also do go and wash my face with soap and water. I know this is going to sound very unconventional, but I literally just use bar soap, like Dove bar soap, to just make sure I'm getting any last little bit of residue that this makeup cloth is not going to get off. So let me start with this. Okay, I have everything off my face, it seems like, so I'm gonna go wash my face with some soap and water, and I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, I did go ahead and wash my face. The next thing I will typically do is take a cotton pad, like the round pads like this. I like a little jar like this, it looks so freaking cute, I love it. But I take this, and I usually always put some Garnier on it, the micellular cleansing water. And you'd be really surprised, even after washing your face with soap and water and makeup wipes, what you can still get off your face. And I'm gonna show you that, cause you see, you see how clear that, how white that pad is, right? Now look at it. Grody! Yeah, so that's why I always, always do that. The next thing I do, I did invest in like, I took, I take these tiny fans everywhere and where it's tropical, but they're also really good for your face, to dry your face kind of quickly. If you're spraying, putting setting spray on your face, or you have something on your face, you kind of want it to dry a little bit faster. I love these fans, I absolutely love them. Now what I do, I also, I also take another pad and I take witch hazel, just plain old witch hazel. This is TN Dickinson's witch hazel. And I take that and I put it on a pad and I go over my face with that. It's a natural astringent, and I do believe it is good for your skin. I do have a little bit of breaking out going on right now. Um, primarily, this is an undergrounder, and then I have a little bit of scarring right here from one in the past, as well as one right here. I tend to break out always in the same spots. I don't know why. I haven't figured that out quite yet, but it's like, ugh. I love to use Clinique's acne solutions. I personally love this one. And it's good, it's 
Literally, I take the smallest amount. I literally take the, sm like the smallest amount, yo. Smallest amount, like that. And just put it on my skin, wherever there's a trouble spot. Okay, like that. We'll let that dry for a minute. What are y'all up to tonight? This is my Monday night. <laughs> Hanging out with y'all, with my besties. Your girl loves you. <laughs> Next thing I do is I've been really, really, really liking facial oil. It's by Biosense. Biosense, squalane, and vitamin C rose oil, I believe it is. But I don't use like a ton. I've seen some influencers put like a ton on. I do not, because I feel like I am afraid it will break me out. I have seen different ways that people are talking about how they they moisturize their face, that they push up this way and push back. Supposedly it does something with your um, your glands with, with helping to de-puff in this area. I don't know. I don't know if that works. Probably not, but, <laughs> but hell, it's worth a shot, right? It's worth a, baby, it's worth a shot. Okay, next thing I do, I do like a good retinol. And I do like Rocks Retinol Correction Deep Wrinkle Night Cream. And this, I literally have been putting into my fine lines on my forehead. The smaller ones that I'm getting up here lately. So I am a firm believer in retinol. I think retinol works wonders. I also kind of try to put it like right in this area with the laugh, the smile lines, and right in here too. Now today I'm not sticking it bare because of this bad boy under there, but normally I would. And then I also do aim for my neck where those lines are on my neck here. I do like to use an eye cream, and I've been really liking this Biosense Squalene. I think that's how you say that, Squalene Marine Algae Eye Cream. I'm almost out of that, as you can see. I'm like literally almost out. So, but I put on, I don't use a ton. And I also put it on my upper eyelid. And just rub that baby in there. There we go. And the very last thing that I use, I alternate between the actual face, the Squalene face cream. It's supposed to be Omega Repair Cream. I will rotate between this and today is actually Neutrogena's Hydro Boost Day. So we're gonna be using this one today. And I literally just put some, dab it all over my face. I don't use like a ton. I think sometimes people can over, I think that's how you get your face like really jacked up is by using a ton. And then your pores can't breathe. I do encourage women and men, whoever out there, honestly, whoever, I do encourage people to start a skincare regimen earlier in life than later. I have been taking care of my skin since I was probably 16, 17 years old. I'm now 44, so with the, unfortunately, I have this going on today and this redness, but otherwise, if I didn't have that, would you think I was 44? Would you? I mean, with no, no makeup on, would you think I was 44? I don't think I would think I was 44. So, of course, that's just me. But anyway, <laughs> but anyway, that is everything I do for my nighttime, like um, getting ready for bed. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gave you some tips of what I use, what maybe can help you. If you know of stuff too, 
please let your girl know. Leave me some, like a link down there or a comment down below in this vlog and let me know what you guys think because, or if there's something you're using that's really good because I want to know about it. <laughs> Don't you hold on on me. I want to know about it. All right, you guys. I am uh, signing off for the evening, but I will see you manana. Ooh. You all right? Go ahead, take your base, son. You're all right. Walk it off, walk it off. Okay, y'all. I just got done, finally, recording. Um, I did that new... Uh, vampire blood video for y'all so by the time you see this vlog it should be already up so if you've missed it you better go find it you better go find it um yeah so I got that done I'm getting ready to take Anthony over his dad's I gotta stop at the store first I got my videos done that I need to get done for you guys and I have to run and drop Anthony off his dad's and then I gotta come back home and get dressed and get ready to go to this concert so So I just got home from dropping Anthony off at his dad's. He's spending the night there tonight because I'm going to this concert. I stopped at the store and I got some like pregame stuff. <laughs> I got this, I got the Seagram's. I got the pineapple cherry lime. The blue raspberry. I really like this one y'all. This is that passion fruit lime and salt. And then I'm sharing this, y'all, so don't be thinking I'm going to be drinking all, my, all this, but I got bootleggers raspberry, apple, and then I got a little shot of fireball. I'm going to try to sneak into the venue. <laughs> I also did find a breeze in strawberry and cream there. And this one, which is anejo, anejo, which now whenever I'm saying anejo, I feel like I'm saying bendejo. <laughs> And my Latina and Latino friends out there know what that means. So, <laughs> but yeah, but I'm like. It's good, though. It's got like a honey, like a honey taste to it. It's like a spicy kind of a honey, and I'm liking it. So, anejo, bendejo. So, <laughs> yeah, so. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to edit a video here really quick and start getting ready for the concert. And I'll check back in with you soon. So the first hooker showed up. We got Miss Kelly. Hi. Kelly, 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 first Kelly, Kelly. <laughs> yeah, the first hooker showed up. Angie's on her way. Holly said she's on her way. Angie's coming early because she, well, a little early because she wants me to help her get her eyelashes on. These bitches need help, yo. They need help. Get ready. Oh, no. Did you forget them? No, I have. Oh, okay, good. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, Hallie's here. Oh. Hallie made it. Yeah! Y'all are gonna, oh, no, disclaimer, you're all gonna be my vlog for this week. Oh, oh shit. All right, all right. <laughs> They're gonna be in it whether they like it or not. Every... Oh, no, it's all right. Go Every... ahead. I'm just doing what? life. That's oh, all right. We're just, we're just loving the vlog. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're, you're gonna, gonna be vlog. You're gonna be in the vlog. You're gonna be in the vlog. I know, I'm not gonna spill tea on your vlog. If she watches it, I No. What's our Uber driver's name? Lawrence. Lawrence? This is Lawrence. Lawrence looks like he should be on a bike, not in an Uber. Like he's ready to hit the career. highway. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> nice laid out pants. Oh yeah, we'll take it. My work one. I, we got a grand here. Yeah. yeah. Look at these bitches. I love these hookers. <laughs> I do. Look at them all. We love you too, Mermer. <laughs> <laughs> we made it to Blossom, ladies and gentlemen. See the girls, the girls, the girls. We're sitting here, we're doing some, we're doing a little shot of, shot of, shot of. <laughs> little, we got a whole table full of stuff. Just a little, just a little. Yeah, we got, our Uber driver was freaking hilarious. His name was Lawrence, and he was freaking hilarious, Joe. He was hilarious. He was really sweet. Um, we got dropped off like right by the front. Look at these people coming in, y'all. Look at this, y'all. Hold on. Oh, I ain't buying no damn merch. 
I might, but you definitely still have a lot. And there's another. It's right getting there. packed. <laughs> right before you actually enter, there's more booths. So yeah, and some we're pre-gaming it because inside of here, it literally is like so, $16 for a freaking tall boy. Basically, $20 some dollars for a mixed drink. It's insane. So we're pre-gaming it. Wait till this, this concert is going to be lit. Lit. Right. We just, oh, 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 we just got through security, but we had a little bit of a snafu. My girl here, Ange. Her purse was too big. Her purse was too big. Look at the size of her purse. Her purse was too big. They were like, no, you can't come in. Your purse is too big. However, however, she, she totally pulled a Karen, but it worked. <laughs> She's like, can I, can I, do you have a manager I can talk to at the gate line? Because the gate line boy was like, nah, you ain't coming in. You ain't coming in. So she's like, can I see a manager? And next thing you know, this dude comes over and I'm already on the other side of security. And they're like, they're giving her a tag. So, so look, she's got to wear a special, she has a special bracelet right here. Allowing her bag in. Only because we Ubered. Only because we Ubered. You did? Look, y'all. Yeah. 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 Wait to see inside. It's freaking crazy. It's crazy. Okay, y'all. So I actually, your girl went ahead and broke down and bought some liquid death. You see that? Liquid death. It legit is just water. It literally is water in a can, just like water. It's not sparkling. It's not nothing. It's water. Water. Oh, I love their shirt. Yeah, people are coming in from everywhere. It's getting crowded. <laughs> yeah, but I needed water. These 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 girls be trying me, man. I ain't trying to fall down like before they even start playing. <laughs> I ain't trying to do it, y'all. I ain't trying to do it. It's like a melody in my head. <laughs> This bitch trying to get me fucked up. You see it. You can see it. You see it. Oh, who that call me? I ain't answering that. <laughs> nah, baby. You, you on you on voicemail permanently. <laughs> Live Nation. I know. I don't know why that's important. I know. <laughs> Shot? Oh, that's why you white. Oh. oh, I didn't do it that way. Bitch. <laughs>
We be smelling the ganja, y'all. Bruh, bruh. This is the pizza that our friend Holly bought. It looks like. <laughs> It looks like an elephant ear, like a pig ear you would give a dog or an elephant ear just without the powdered sugar. It's fucked up, brah. They took a tortilla, threw some cheese and some sauce on it. I was like, that'd be $20. <laughs> like 40 miles and we're, we're you're talking about a bunch of thick bitches old so old thick bitches it's thursday <laughs> i'm a teeny bit hungover this morning but it's not bad thank god um i'm on my way to work right now we had guys i had so much fun at that concert last night it was so much fun oh my goodness it had some weird moments and my girls that were with me know what I'm talking about. But it had some weird moments. Um, <laughs> I'll dive into that some other time. But um, we had a blast. And now I'm on my way to work. And um, in about an hour or two here, a party bus is coming to get all of, everybody at my job. And we're all going downtown Cleveland to... Um, see the baseball game so that should be fun I'm gonna take you guys with me I have to record off my phone they will not allow you to bring in higher grade cameras like that so yeah but 
we're still gonna go have a good day. So yeah, I guess I don't look too rough, right? Right? <laughs> I yeah, I didn't get to sleep last night till about two thirty. Yeah, I didn't get home. It was like twelve. It was after twelve, and I had to eat something. Well, most of the time at that concert, I was drinking water. The drinks that I consumed. The alcohol that I did consume, I consumed it primarily before the concert. So, because I'm telling you, at Blossom, oh my God, one beer is like almost 20 bucks. It's ridiculous. It's freaking ridiculous. A tall boy, like a tall boy seltzer, $20? <laughs> no thanks. So, yeah, so I drank a lot of water. I was drinking that death water. It was in a can. It was pretty good. I liked it. I mean, it was plain old water, but it was in a can. It was the weirdest thing ever, so... But anyway, I'm on my way to work right now. I can just ramble. You know I can. You know. You know. You know. So, <laughs> I'm on my way to work, and I will catch up with you all later. Yeah, you. Go Tribe! We're on the party bus, and we're headed downtown now. See? This is Sharon. Sharon's going to be on the vlog. Ah! <laughs> yeah, bunch of crazy ass accountants. They're drinkers, though. Let me tell you. <laughs> We're waiting in line. We got Bailey. It's Bailey. <laughs> We're waiting in line. Look. <laughs> and then. Ballpark food. Come in, visit the ballpark and get your weekend started right. Go for the hot dogs, stay for the home run, and bring the whole food. This is the best place to be in Cleveland on the summer. I pay attention for a living. I watch plays and make important calls. While I'm busy watching the game, I... Thank you. 